COVID and the Queen by Ted Burke. The sun had trouble rising on that chilly April morn. His friend, the sparkling sea, inquired, Why are you so forlorn? Where are they? said the orange orb. Something that I've done? Perhaps I was too harsh. I thought they all were having fun. A seagull soared, then landed, just to join the conversation. She interrupted, offering this urgent observation. I haven't seen a single human since last Monday noon. Alarmed, they all looked up to seek the counsel of the moon. The Silver Queen was tired as she waned impatiently. The sun's in charge now. Tell me what it is you need of me. All the congregation knew the sun was strong and bright. But if you wanted wisdom, you should ask the Queen of Night. The dunes and seagrass cowered and the heron looked away. Finally, the moon said, tell me what you're all too scared to say. The seagull blurted, Highness, they've deserted us, it seems. Not a human on the beach. Please tell us what it means. No one, said the Silver Queen, even in the day. This cannot be. What possibly would keep them all away? No creature had an answer. No one even dared to speak. The ocean waves, once boastful, now were absolutely meek. The egret's morning reveille went shyly mute, unsung. Having nothing much to say, ospreys wisely held their tongue. The strangled silence lingered as the dunes gave it some thought. The musings of the horseshoe crabs and mussels came to naught. Alone among this kingdom, only plovers read the news, a skill which rarely helps them as few colleagues ask their views. Respectfully, a plover asked the moon to please be heard. Accordingly, a regal beam trained on the tiny bird. Your grace, she started, bowing to the glowing lunar throne. The human world is wrestling with a threat as yet unknown. Our friends have not abandoned us. They're dealing with great stress. I humbly offer this sad news I read in this week's press. It says, stay apart, six feet is good, and please don't touch your face. Avoid the beach, the park, the bay, or any public place. A virus they call COVID sickens people young and old. Wear a mask and wash your hands. Please do as you are told. The queen's eyes closed, reopened. Then she thanked the little plover. Such an odd development. I'll have to think it over. A sand crab and some seaweed exchanged a nervous glance. Could it be Her Majesty stumped by this circumstance? All eyes watched the sovereign as she lingered on the scene, pondering the plover's news, yet trying to look serene. At last she rose and issued this, her regal declaration. Her words were heard from bay to beach by all her seaside nation. You know it is our secret that we crave our human neighbors. They give the very meaning and a purpose to our labors. What is the sand without the print made by a toddler's feet? How can a wave without a surfer ever feel complete? The sun is just a lamp unless it's lifted spirits brightly. My mission is to bathe with light those strolling lovers nightly. Without them, we're just scenery, a set without a show. Their absence darkens everything. 
Now we should let them know. This COVID is an evil king, she told the anxious throng. But if he thinks he's won, our human friends will prove him wrong. I know they will defeat him. When they do, we must be ready. Wind, you rake the sand there. Ocean, polish up that jetty. Seagulls, clear those broken shells, then tidy up the shore. Make this place look better than it ever did before. Osprey, what's that floating on the surface of the bay? Spear those items, clean that up, and carry it away. Cousin Sun and Uncle Sky, please freshen up your station. Clouds, look lively, make those shapes that spur imagination. Our friends will vanquish COVID and emerge from this great trial. Our job will be to greet them with a welcoming, warm smile. They'll need us more than ever when they finally return. We need them too, you see. That is the lesson that we've learned. Mm-hmm.